children are white. Because the DNA in you will never allow you to produce white children. Hello? So the DNA in you is already there to make you wealthy. It's already there. It's not that they are going to put it on your hand. No, it's already there. But you can only access it, you can only activate it by faith. That's what the scripture the scripture says. It's saying that people they will do what? He did not say the unbelievers are perishing. It's that my people, my believers, they are perishing because of what ignorance. They don't know who they are. They don't know what they have. They could not assess it. That's why you go to Isaiah 51. I said they have me 10 minutes. I want, to hear more. I want you to come back next Sunday to listen to this message. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it's Holy Spirit instructed message. Amen. Listen to me. All oh, hope for deliverance. All oh, seek the Lord. Consider the rock from which you are caught. The query from which you are mine. Yes, think about Abraham, your ancestor. Who is your ancestor? Your ancestor, your your great forefather, father, that carries the DNA of blessing. Bible says it's blessing that they, they cannot able. The silver and gold they just drop it. Nobody has it no more. That's where that's where you came from. And you see how the Jews in America today are they are they poor? Go to all the facilities. Say who wants this facility? Mental health, all these other issues. Because the DNA is already there. Do you think they are professor, they are PhD? The DNA is the same DNA that is in them that is in you. But because you don't have faith, it is not activated. And some of us, we, we have that mentality, Nigerians have mentality of struggling. <laughs> Even Africans, Africans, we, we, we don't think anything can come easy. No, no. That's why we are battling with our faith. Say, sure, uh, oh. I have to go. And the president, that me, I, I work hard for my job, for my money. Every spirit of hardship is eliminated in this world. It's because we are struggling. That's why we don't have time for God. It is because the hardship is already in us. We have to struggle for everything. See the way we study in the school and bring it to America. <laughs> You will grab everything, put your two feet in the water. I mean, you remember one of them. Oh, yes. You will flip next day, next day, and you get to the other one with collapse. Yes. You will be nervous and then struggling, 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 struggling. Before you get the white pass, oh my God. And after that, you drop down again. And you see, everything struggling, struggling, struggling. Then when you come out to look for job again. Yes, think about Abraham, your ancestor, and Sarah, who gave back to your nation. Abraham was only one man when I called him. But when I blessed him, he became what? <laughs> who is going to have the blessing of Abraham today? Who? Who is going that the story will be shamed today? Who is going to have a new song? The first that I'm in a good respect who is about. Who is going to have a new song in Christ Jesus? Who is going to start with Kabul? I'm still going to make some utterances to your life. Huh? And they are going to give me a general terminus. <laughs> Today is a memorable day. Yes. And you are blessed and you are here. Amen. A minute, a divine one minute can turn your life around. Yes. The Lord will comfort this you are again. Amen. And have pity on our ruins. Amen. Can you say? He said, her desert we blow some like a bed. Her desert, spiritual desert, financial desert, marital desert, professional desert. And this is the time of desert in America, in the whole world. Yes. When you consider what you are going through now, able to help people, able to give pastor a card, will be difficult. <laughs> That's the reality. But you know, but when you shift your eyes from your situation and circumstances, and you grab it and you hold on to it, God say, God, you are my sufficiency. Yes. And you say you are going to provide seed to the sewer. 
I don't care what I'm going through because you make it happen. Amen. Then you start having peace. One day, money cannot give you peace. Material cannot give you peace. Only peace of peace can give you peace. Yes. So only peace of peace. Now give me peace. Her desk will close up like Eden. Her barren wilderness, like the garden of the Lord. Can you say? He said the barrenness. When we are talking about barrenness, it's not someone that doesn't have the fruit of the womb. No. Some Christians are barren. No fruit. God is, this one just has nothing to do with, with those people that are barren. Is there anyone that does not produce fruit? I'm not to cut them off. Has it called? I said your patience is just too, is zero. Zero tolerance. Is there anyone that does not give food? You don't even give them, just say, I'll cut them off. Is there any plant that they are not glad? I'll put them. I, I look at it, I read this several times. Oh, because you know why? He has ordained it for you to be blessed. Yes. He has ordained it for you to be fruitful. Yes. If you are not more barren, is it none of them can be barren? Yes. The plan of God for you is to start. To, ma to manifest the greatness of God. Yes. Bible says you shall break forth. Yes. Let, right, not east. He yes. said, let those who that have not now start extend your call. Yes. Because your moment of your season of break forth is already established. Yes. Say, I'm breaking forth. I'm breaking forth. To the north, to the south, to the east, to the left. Say, my moment has come. That faith will make you to call forward and not as if here. Don't be negative. Uh, hey, Pastor, in America, things are down. Things are dry. Hey, to eat is difficult. To, to some people, to eat is difficult. Then to me, 